Good thing we got this. Now we can keep tabs on all the employees without making them feel weird, right? Or maybe they see it and feel more weird, I don't know. <laughs> maybe this is a little creepier. <laughs> what is our uh, stocking setup? Glass it up. Glass it up. Hooks to the phone and then hooks to the binoculars. With long eye relief. So you can get rid of your long eyes. In case your eyes get really long, <laughs> this will help. But this thing, it only uses one half of these, so... I mean, we might as well get rid of that other half and make it a little more compact now. I was expecting like multiple pieces of glass in there, but that's still a really thick piece right there. That looks like my sister's glasses. <laughs> Light comes in through here, it goes in that hole, gets prismed real good, comes out of that one, which goes in there through this prism, and then out that one, and then to your eye. It's already, it's much lighter, more portable now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be Now good. we just need to, something good to use it on. Let's go look at the sun. Solar eclipse. <laughs> the sun. What were you looking through? The viewfinder. <laughs> You're supposed to just look at the screen of your phone. You're not even on the camera. Okay, let's use it to go look at the eclipse. Busted. You guys just all got duped I'm by... What is that? Uh, this is a P16 sanding disc. <laughs> and a 200 watt light. And a phone with a garbage bag. <laughs> Duped. Now you can make your own solar eclipse any time of year. You don't have to wait 40 years. All you need is a sanding disc, an $8 shop light, and, and a garbage, garbage bag. bag. <laughs> and you can make it 100%, 90%, 82. Can you do 95? If you want. All jokes aside, no more jokes, right? I never joke. <laughs> we actually did use that binocular and that mount. This is a welding glass shield. It's taped to the front so the sun doesn't melt my phone. And then the phone is attached right here with a glass it up. And that's how we were able to record the sun. We set it up all last minute, so we didn't have like one of those automatic sun tracking tripods. Would have been cool. So I had to keep readjusting it, but the time lapse still turned out pretty cool. Here in Utah, the eclipse was at a 90... 92, 3, 92%? Like 92%, so it wasn't quite a full eclipse. So all of that was made possible because of this product, Glass It Up. That's all it is, is just that adapter. You can use it with an existing pair of binoculars. They've actually set up a discount code so you guys can buy one of these kits yourself. If you go to their website, it's glassitupoi.com and then use the promo code GLASS20. You can get 20% off of one of these. And then on the next eclipse, you can use that. Or to spy on workers or wildlife, if you're into that sort of thing. If you're a springbok, that means pronking. <laughs>